What's up guys? Do you remember the 40 mic from the previous gameplay? Today Georgie has 6 of them, loaded into his crazy drum magazine launcher. Each time he pulls the trigger, 150 PVs leave the barrel at once, and it's semi-auto. So guys, get ready for this insane gameplay. Let's rewind to see what Georgi did right there. He spots the group of three people, so he unloads a 40 mic down there. Right when he pulls the trigger, this guy all of a sudden comes out of cover and runs directly into the BB beam. Of course, Georgi doesn't want to get killed and he redirects his gun to the immediate threat. <laughs> <laughs> now he shoots a 40 mic against the wooden board to scare away the guy who is about to shoot from behind that door. Right here he starts to shoot it against the board again to then pull it over to the enemy. This way his opponent will only get hit by about 50 BBs instead of all 150 to cause less pain. It's not easy to play with the 40 mic only since the range is about 30 meters but at the same time everybody complains if you use it below 15 meters. <laughs> For the last round, Georgie decided to switch to the pistol since people got really scared of the 6 shell for the mic launcher combination. Let's watch all those insane shots again. Alright guys, this was the gameplay with the 640 mic shells. Is it effective? Will everybody play with the setup in the future? No, definitely not. It's not very effective because you cannot really shoot below 50 meters, otherwise people just freak out. So you only have this tiny, tiny range of 15 to 30 meters, so it's difficult to play with this. Now another problem is that, uh, you know, the spring that turns this drum right here, and then when you shoot, when you pull the trigger, it locks. And when you let go, it starts turning already. And the 40 mic, it doesn't unload immediately, right? So if you do this, half of the 40 mic will go into the launcher. So you really have to press, wait until it's gone. Then you leave the trigger alone. Now, if you've been following some of the forums and communities of Airsoft, you will notice that everybody talks about the 40 mic. Should it be allowed at fields or should it not be allowed? Now, I wrote a really long opinion on Facebook and Instagram about this. If you want to check it out, 
links in the video description, but real short, it is a new system, it's something cool and it kind of changes the game, but then again, it's quite dangerous because it's very hard to control, you know, if you want to shoot a guy, you probably gonna hit him with 150 BBs, and even if the velocity is not very high, it is just a huge mass coming at you and it hurts like hell. I think it's gonna lead to fights at airsoft fields. People are gonna get so pissed if they get shot with this at low ranges. And this just happens, you know, even with minimal engagement distances. We've seen it in Charge's video. He shot at those guys that were like 30 meters away. And then this other guy just ran into the BB beam and Charge reacted because that's, you know, that's what you learn as an airsofter. You just direct the barrel to the person. What I'm also worried about is if this hits you in the face and you don't have a face mask, imagine the scenario where you walk around the corner and you look literally down the barrel of this thing and you get shot with 150 BBs, it's probably gonna pass the lips. The teeth are gonna fly out like crazy. So if this thing gets a lot of fields, definitely face masks should be mandatory. And also eye protection should be with a retention band in the back because if 150 BBs hit your eye pro, it's probably just gonna fly off because it's so many BBs. Okay, that's my two cents on the 40 mic. Let me know your opinions below. If you wanna check out George's Facebook and Instagram, you know, where he gives you updates on his gear and all that kind of stuff. Check it out, also links in the description, as well as the link to the pistol that he was using. If you want to have more infos about this, link is down there below too. This is Norwich, and I'll see you guys next Thursday.